Hello and welcome to my tutorial for the Song of the Golden Dragon. I created sheet music for this piece, so um, you can download this in the uh, description. And there's tablature to this as well. And um, if you cannot read tablature, then just um, go through any, any, any tutorial. It's not difficult. And um, um, this is because I've wrote everything down. I will not go through all the single techniques in this tutorial, but I will address some basic principles of guitar playing. So polish your basics and, and go through some, uh, through some general techniques that SS likes to use in his pieces. First I would like to talk about is the body posture. Um, it's very important because um, this style is very demanding for the right hand and if your posture is bad then you, know, you will get injured in your right hand like I did. When I started the style I basically had a, uh, had a inflammation in my in my right uh, right hand wrist and I could not properly play for almost one year or so please avoid that for the style we have the guitar usually on the on the right leg and you have you can either have a foot raiser one of those to um, to bring your right foot up and lift the guitar so you have a comfortable uh, comfortable position the other option is to cross your legs like this this is the way SS does it um, I like to uh, to have my my foot stand the aim of lifting the, uh, the guitar is to have a relaxed right shoulder. So first thing you want to do is just get in, in, into your position and relax the muscles. Uh, and then move in a proper position. And you really want to feel there's no tension in the shoulder, there's no tension in the arm, you are relaxed. And um, you, you, uh, you want to avoid uh, bad angles. For example, you, you do not want to play like this, which is something that many people do. Just a relaxed, almost straight position of the wrist. And you also want to avoid to have an angle here like this. This is some, uh, the most common one. This angle is, is, is very, very demanding for the sinews and, and, and the muscles of your right arm. So please avoid that. You try to have a straight wrist. So play relaxed. And every time you learn a pattern that is uh, that might be de demanding to you, just um, now and then pause and remind yourself to relax your muscle like then just stop and ah, release tension, release tension. All right, let's continue. And so on. For this style, you would like to uh, avoid bicycling. This is something that classical guitarists uh, call this movement of your fingers like this. When you use muscle tension for every position of the finger, it's very common, especially for uh, autodidacts and people who have not uh, been educated for uh, guitar playing, but it's very, very, very inefficient and slow, and it really tires the muscles and um, will most likely uh, lead to injury or uh, at least tired muscles. So what you want to do instead is uh, snap your fingers like like this. This is the basic movement. Andrew Matthews has a uh, lot, lots of tutorials for uh, for this technique, uh, especially. And um, you put your fingers on your, uh, on the string and snap. And what happens is that the fingers snap and then just go into, uh, into the relaxed natural position from alone without any tension. So I have the snap. Let me get this closer. So one finger snaps and without any tension it moves back into the uh, re relaxed position. And this is very quick and very efficient. And this is one, what we want to use for guitar playing. So what we, what we practice is to um, have our fingers on the treble strings, so A on the high E string, uh, ring finger on the high E string, middle finger on the B string, and index finger on the G string, just a standard position, and just practice this snapping. And your fingers are relaxed for this. So this means that here, when you pluck the string, your finger bends here, this, this is bending because it's relaxed. And if this is, uh, if this is relaxed, you have a very natural movement like this instead of having full tension in the finger and snapping which will sound horrible sounds not good what you want to do is clear sound this is if it sounds horrible you probably have too much tension in your finger because you do not you, you never want to go under the string and this is what happens if you do not relax your your finger you are a side to the string, not under the string. And just practice this. 
and remind yourself to not raise your wrist. I, I know that Esther does it, but it, it's, it's not, not very healthy. You would really want to avoid it. So just your fingers move, not your wrist, not like this. This will tire your muscles as well. Just relax yourself, relax your shoulder, relax your wrist. What you then can do to, uh, to have very quick arpeggios is to have a very slight delay uh, between those, those fingers. This should be very relaxed and can be very, very quick because it's not like one movement, one movement, one movement, and then you try to make it quick. But it's just one movement, one movement with a slight delay. So, and you can do it in uh, two directions. You can go uh, up and down. And then later, of course, you can combine it. This is the, the basic arpeggio. Um, another thing, that you maybe not have yet learned if you are a, a beginner is the beret. I, I just want to give you a quick tip to beret chords because I um, I was basically cramping my my left hand here when I uh, when I learned beret chords and it's not really necessary once you understand that uh, the, the power is not purely um, induced by this muscle but uh, by your whole body. So what what this means is the power for pressing down the beret finger comes from the finger itself. So this this muscles, then the thumb pressing against the other side at uh, about the same power, and then your right arm brings the guitar here uh, in this uh, this position, and by this movement you can just leave the, uh, the thumb away, you can al uh, already have the barry chord. And so those three points, the uh, index finger, the thumb, and your right arm pressing against the guitar, all about the uh, about equal power make it very nice and easy to play a very chord Esses likes to use na uh, fingernails he usually has acrylic fingernails but um, he uh, he himself does not recommend this uh, to other players um, you just just try to use your, nat your natural nails um, regarding the shape this is very very different and many tutorials you find are uh, meant for a, a left like position so when you put the guitar on the left leg, let me show you, just like this, all the angles, or, um, how the, uh, the fingers uh, come to the strings change. So many of the uh, classical tutorials for fingernail shape will not work if you have the guitar on the right leg. So it's something that you really have to uh, find yourself uh, something to work with, just try and error. And um, a good start that helped me is to just follow the, the shape of the skin and have, have it like one millimeter above for every finger, all those three. So just follow the shape of the skin. Just look, look from, from above and file it in a way so you just follow this curve of the skin. And then from there, uh, refine it so, so you're not snapping and so you're properly uh, nail hitting the, the strings. As I already said, the style is very demanding, for the, especially for the right hand. So I'd, I would really like to emphasize on having a warm-up before you go uh, into the heavy and fast techniques. Um, this is something that I did not and which backfired heavily. And um, I would recommend just having like five to ten minutes of very, very light playing or exercises. You could, for example, do some easy arpeggios. some melodies if you want but just very very easy movements and get your body used to playing and another um, possibility would be uh, ex exercises like snapping your your hands and do it above your head you cannot see it now and um, just to to uh, bring some circulation to the uh, to the fingers something that helps many players also is uh, keeping their arms uh, the forearms warm so for example you can have something like this before you play so you get it nice and warm. It will be easier and more healthy to play that way. You can take it off for playing or whatever you prefer. I often have something like this on my hand when I play. <laughs> 